Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the Arl. I remember you, Ban Tegan. Though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news. Still alive, yes. Though I'm just as surprised about that as you are, believe me. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. I refer to Caelan, of course. Our sister was Queen Rowan, King Merrick's wife and Caelan's mother, make her rest her soul. So you are a Grey Warden as well. A pleasure to meet you. I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother, Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. They hit again the next night. Each night they come with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. How pointless to help these villagers fight an impossible battle. One would think we had enough to contend with elsewhere. Thank you. Thank you. This means more to me than you can guess. Thomas, please tell Murdoch what transpired. Then return to your post. Yes, my lord. Now then, there is much to do before night falls. I put two men in charge of the defense outside. Murdoch, the village mayor, is outside the Chantry. Sir Perth, one of Eamon's knights, is just up the cliff at the windmill, watching the castle. You may discuss with them the preparations for the coming battle. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. I'm scared, Mother. When are the bad men coming? Sorry. Am I bothering you? I'll, I'll try to be more quiet. Those... Those things dragged my mother away. I don't know what happened to her, but I hear her screaming all the time. Everywhere. How terrible, you poor thing. I wish there was something we could do to help. And now my brother Bevan, he, he ran off. I, I don't know where he is. I'm so scared they got him too. You will. Thank you so much. Please find him. I'm so scared, Father. What are we going to do? Silence, girl. Ah. You know, we don't have the men we need. And their numbers There's just no sign of them coming now. back from the castle. So oh. you're the Grey Warden, are you? I heard they all died with the king. We need what little armor and weapons we got repaired, and quickly, or half of us will be fighting without either. Owen's the only blacksmith who can do it, but the stubborn fool refuses to even talk. If we're to be ready for tonight, we'll need that crotchety bastard's help. I'd appreciate it. If he doesn't help, he'll die like the rest of us. What good will that do anyone then? Tell them to maintain watch. I don't want a surprise attack before the sun goes down. Yes, sir. What should we do until then? Pray, and hope for a miracle. Go. 
away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my stores. There's nothing left. Certainly not. I don't know you and I don't want to. Off you go. That's so. Well, if Murdoch wants more weapons, you can give him the same answer I did. He can make them himself. Hmm. All right, all right. But I don't know why you're so determined. Here, I'll get the locks. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. So I let you in? You wanted to talk, now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Funny, you didn't sound like an elf through the door. Can't say I expected that. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Look around. The militia took everything they could use. I could start up the forge again, but I won't, since Murdoch won't listen to me. If you mean you want me to smith something for you, then no. But feel free to take whatever's left. Don't suppose it matters much anymore. Why should I help Murdoch when he won't help me? Hmm? My girl, Felena. It's one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me, or the village, or anyone! You say I'm crazy? I'd say my daughter's all I've got to live for. Murdoch and the village don't matter. None to me! Tell you what. If you want me to do repairs for Murdoch and his men, promise me you'll go into the castle and find my daughter. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing, and I didn't believe him either. You were asking a great deal, you wretched little man. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her, that you'll bring her back to me if you can. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. Oh, lovely. Shall we next begin rescuing kittens from trees? Right, then. It seems I have some work to do relighting the forge, and I suppose I'll have to find some iron. Hmm, maybe at the mill. Oh, Murdoch just better send his men here as soon as possible if I'm going to get to all these repairs and get them done by nightfall. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. It will be done. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we need. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good enough, I say. I'll send one of my men to inform Bantigan the militia is ready for battle. Right. Let's hope we see morning.